Are you excited? Are you excited? Come on. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Griffin and this is Griffin Projects. And I guess I'm mostly saying welcome back to myself because, well, um, uh, yeah, it's been like um, a month since my last post, which was totally not the plan. But let me just say, I've been stuck in this apartment or my shop or whatever for like over a year. And that is, it's, it's wearing on me. And by that, I mean, I don't know what state I'm in anymore because, you know, being a little stir crazy, well, I think I passed that in like June of last year, July of last year. Now we're six months later or more. And well, I could possibly be going crazy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. So I'm not gonna belabor it that much, but other than to say that I'm back, computer work, not as fun as YouTube work. So here I am, I'm back, I'm making another pact with myself that Griffin, you're gonna be posting more on YouTube. We have a lot of things to do, we have new equipment, we have, there's just so much stuff that we need to talk about. First things first, update on Cash a dash. Cash is doing fantastic. Overall, she's doing great. Let me show you a video real quick of like her hair loss and kind of her snout and kind of what's been going on with that. So as you can see, she's lost a lot of hair, kind of all over, and that's supposedly where all the radiation kind of went in there to kill all the cancer. Overall, it hasn't seemed to bother her any. Definitely more bothered by the cold weather outside and all the salt down on the sidewalk. Which brings me to the second part of cash update is the salt. She can't stand it, her paws hurt. Look at this clip. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Are you a marcher? <laughs> you want to show people your your progress? Oh no, you lost. Okay, so she doesn't really like the salt socks booties thing, but she does like them when she's outside. One thing I don't like about it is that they don't stay on her feet. Now, if you happen to have a good idea on how to keep them on her feet, the little Velcro doesn't do jack crap. It's horrible. I would actually rate these salt socks at like a 1.5 out of five stars. I don't think that I would rebuy them. Let's just put it that way. They just don't stay on. So constantly I am having to find them wherever they dropped off and then put them back on. Cash does like the fact that her feet aren't burning and all that stuff, so like they are useful when they're on, but another big update that I have for you is basically trying to keep my mental state kind of on an even keel has been very, very challenging this year. Like in Chicago, the summers are absolutely fantastic. Like th there's just, ugh, it is the reason to live here for the most part, like it is awesome. Well, we didn't get to do any of the awesome stuff because of the pandemic. So I knew winter was going to be quite challenging. Did I know it was going to be this challenging? Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know about that part, but it has been difficult. The best part about this update is I have been making strides in the last month to get a handle on my fitness. Now, if you remember from the Vlogmas episode that I will link right above here, I have a huge issue with my fitness and like how big of a decline that I've had over the last several years. I've taken a big step to actually fixing that and I'm gonna show you that right now. Well, hello there. <laughs> this is Freshly. I am not sponsored yet. <laughs> I'm not sponsored yet. If you're not familiar with Freshly, let me just tell you what it is. Basically, it is meals in a box that gets delivered to you every single week. The meals are made fresh, they're never frozen, and you get to pick from like a list of 40 different meals. Now, they have different types of meal plans, like I think like four or six or eight or something, whatever. I get the 12 meals a week package, which is six days of lunch and dinner. It just frees so much headspace up here where I'm not like, oh, okay, what healthy thing can I make? 
right now, should I thaw chicken, should I do this and that and whatever. I will say I am a huge fan of Freshly. In fact, I'm such a big fan that I would actually tell you if you are interested in like a meal plan or you don't wanna have to cook your own meals and stuff like that, especially if you're single, this is very, very nice. No dishes, no cleanup, that type of thing. It's better than anything frozen that you can get at the grocery store. You know, if I like something, one, I've bought it with my own money, and two, I evangelize it like crazy. Like I just, when it comes to things that I like, I have no problem getting behind them, especially if the company is really good. They forgot a meal one week and then they gave me like two or three meals for free. So they've been absolutely fantastic. Like cannot say enough good about Freshly. This is what I've been eating for the last couple weeks. Let me show you. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so this is how it comes. I don't know if you're gonna be able to I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this very well. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let me put them right here. We got the nice ice packs. Meals, meals, meals. More meals, more meals. So as you can see here, this is a lot of meals. In fact, like I said, six days of both lunch and dinner, but I wanted to just show you like an update on my life. We'll do more maker stuff in the, the next video, but like for today, I just wanted to kind of show you what are the meals that I've been eating to stay like within the calorie count, within the protein, within the this, within the that or whatever, all the healthy crap. First up is the savory sweet chicken teriyaki bowl. Hearty chipotle chicken stew. That's like one of my favorites, a little spicy, I like that. Sausage baked penne. Golden oven fried chicken and mash. Cauliflower shell beef bolognese. This was quite delicious. I was actually really, really surprised that the noodles are made out of cauliflower. This is the masterful meatballs. Now, what this is, is these meatballs right here are actually like 60% beef and then 40% mushroom. Now, normally I don't like mushroom all that much. I think I like the taste of mushrooms, but not the texture or something. I don't know, whatever. But these, man, these are really good. Like I was really surprised. The one thing that I've really liked about Freshly is that the people that make the meals there are like sneaking vegetables in and you really don't even know. Like this one, probably one of my favorite meals. Now this is mashed potatoes with like mashed cauliflower and it's mixed together in like, you cannot tell. The last meal I get, which I'm guessing they ran out of tops, is this one. It's steak mashed potatoes and green beans and carrots. So as you can see, I've been eating actually really pretty good. I definitely better than what I would normally be eating for myself and like definitely healthier than I would have before. So with that being said, I've been really, really happy with that fact. But if you're looking to try something different that isn't like HelloFresh, which they just send you the ingredients and then you make it, which is also very interesting and good. Their meals are fantastic. But if you're like me, that's just super busy and you just want a good meal that you can just pop into the microwave for like a couple minutes and then all of a sudden have a fantastic meal that's like portioned out perfectly. Cause that was kind of my big problem is portion control. So like you have it portioned out really well. You, in every single week you pick different stuff so you don't have to get sick of it. I just happen to like the same thing over and over and over again. But yeah, absolutely awesome. Referral links down below. Well, that's it for this video. I know it was kind of like more of a fitness update in whatever video, but basically that's probably the biggest project that I'm gonna be working on this year is my fitness and health and whatever. So there's gonna be videos about that. So consider that a warning for the future, but don't worry, I have new equipment coming to the shop towards the end of the month, which is just gonna be freaking awesome. I'm super excited about that. I haven't touched the actual design for the future bar yet. That's something that I'm gonna do this week yet and make sure to post that as well. I am going to make sure that my computer work no longer overtakes the time that I wanna do with YouTube and with social media and stuff like that. I wanna say also a big thank you to the people that messaged me on Instagram and Twitter to just, I guess, make sure that I'm okay. I really appreciate it. Like, more than I can articulate. Like, that really meant a lot to me. So, I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am okay. 
and I will continue to be okay as I keep pushing forward with all the different goals for this year. And one of them, of course, being YouTube and Instagram. If you like this video and you know someone else that's like battling their fitness, trying to be healthy and stuff like that, if you wanna share this video with them, I would very much appreciate that as well. If you like this video, make sure that you like it down below so that way YouTube knows. And other than that, I would say if you're not subscribed, make sure that you're subscribed and all the things that YouTubers have to say, holy cow, there's a lot of things. But just know that a new video is coming out very soon. I just wanna say if you've gotten to this point, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.